Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, you may recall a couple weeks ago I went and visited a couple of houses that were really elaborately decorated up for Halloween. And one of them, I ran into uh, some decorations that they'd made out of plastic cups. There were these large glowing orbs. And I, told, I said at the time, this is a really good idea. They're just made out of plastic cups that are zip tied together and they have Christmas lights. And I said, at some point, I'm gonna steal this idea. Well, today we're gonna try and reproduce one of these things. I'm gonna run over to the store get some uh, supplies. I got to get some uh, white zip ties. I want to get some cheap Christmas lights or maybe not so cheap Christmas lights and some plastic cups. And we're going to try and make one of these and I'm going to go through the whole process with you. So let's go. This is going to be fun. Okay. I'm back from Home Depot. I also went to, went to HEB to uh, get the glasses and I got some Christmas lights, uh, a set of blue bulbs, a set of red bulbs. These are LEDs. Uh, little tiny little globes which is going to be perfect for these I think and I'm hoping that's going to be a big enough light string to handle all this and then I also got some cable ties I have black cable ties but I, I didn't have a whole lot of white ones so uh, since I figured I didn't, I didn't want to have the black cable ties holding the cups together then they were using white cable ties on the one that I had before um, or the one I saw at the uh, house the other day, I figured that'd be the way to go. Now, I was actually kind of glad that I went today. One of the reasons that kind of inspired me to get going on this today is that I know we're starting to get a little bit close to Christmas. Now, I didn't expect it was going to be this crazy. Uh, today, for the record, is December 11th. Christmas is two days away from today, or two weeks from today, and Home Depot is already taking down all their Christmas stuff. So... Yeah, I knew that might be an issue, and but I didn't expect to be going on this quick. So I got some of the last Christmas lights that they had out, and if I'd waited another day, it would have probably been too late for this. So let's get going on this, and I'm going to start figuring out how we're going to make this all happen. So the first thing I wanted to do is kind of figure out how this is all going to work. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to push one of these bulbs into the center of each one of these cups here and that means I need to drill a hole in it and I'm going to drill a hole in one cup right now just to try it out and see how it works and see what it kind of looks like and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Alright so there we go there's one of them I think that's sort of giving you the effect uh, that you want. I think it'll look a lot more interesting when you get a whole bunch of them attached together but what I'm going to do now uh, since I'm not really sure how many of these it's going to take to create a sphere. Uh, what we're going to probably end up doing here is having, uh, you know, whatever extra bulbs there are here, just kind of inside the, inside the sphere. And uh, I'm going to start putting these together now and let's take a look at what they look like. All right, so I got the first seven of them on. Basically, I, I chose this one as kind of the key, the bottom one here, and then did six of them all the way around. Now I'm gonna do uh, the next uh, loop all the way around. And uh, one of the things I had to do is actually put a larger hole in it for the, for the light bulb. So what I discovered, what I wanted to do is actually disconnect the light bulb from the socket and try and get the, uh, the gap between the bulb and the fitting to be between the plastic and that just couldn't make that light upright. So um, I drilled a little bigger hole in the cups and uh, now the outside edge is, I'm actually turn the light off here so it's uh, you can see a little better. Now this part of it 
is uh, is going around the uh, is is in the plastic. I'm probably I might have to get a hot glue gun and glue those into position. But right now, I think I got a drill bit that's the right size for that, and it's kind of fitting in there nice and snug. And so we're gonna see how that works. But like I said, I'm gonna do the next loop now, and uh, we're gonna go from there. All right, you got another uh, loop all the way around now of cups, and uh, yeah, that's starting to look pretty cool, isn't it? It's starting to look an awful lot like uh, that thing I saw in that in the other in that yard. So um, I am a little getting a little concerned right now that uh, that it may require more lights than I'm thinking of to make this thing go around. I was debating, uh, you know, going with maybe a smaller cup to create a smaller sphere, but. Uh, I went with the bigger cups. These are what 16 ounce cups or something like that. I got uh, I do think it's a very cool effect and uh, We're gonna continue playing with this. I'm gonna put another uh, loop of uh, Lights around here and at this point. It's looking like we may have uh, red and blue lights in here uh, rather than making two different uh, Two different orbs. It's gonna be one with it's gonna be half red and half white or half blue um, and if that's the case, I might end up actually having to uh, uh, change, flip, flip out bulbs a little bit here to uh, make, it, make it look more even. Because right now, the way I'm going, it's going to be blue on one side and red on the other side. But I don't know. We're going to play around with this and see how it looks. Right now, I do think it looks pretty cool. And uh, it's definitely giving me the desired effect. So I'm going to continue on with this. All right, I got another ring around the... Uh the, the thing here, I got seem to have one light that's not lit up. Let's see if we can figure out how to get that working. We'll have to play with that a little bit when we get our hands uh, clearer, but uh, this is starting to look really nice. I'm actually looking forward to seeing how this is going to turn out in the end. Yeah, I was able to fix that one ball, but it just turns out that uh, it... It was. It appeared to be in the socket backwards. One of the things you got to run into, you got to deal with when you're dealing with LEDs, is that the power only goes one direction. The LED is a light emitting diode, and one of the things that makes diodes special is the fact that the power only goes in one direction. So if you run, if you put the bulb in there backwards, it won't work. And so it turns out there was one that it appeared the bulb was in backwards and um, I think it was a manufacturing defect on the bulb. I tried to flip the bulb around and it wouldn't work. So it just turned out there was a replacement bulb and I just put that in there in its place and it's working fine now. So yeah, this is coming along nice. It's gonna be bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, so we're gonna probably end up uh, uh, you know, making just one of these and it will be uh, red and blue and maybe maybe even more than that. I might have to go back and get a, a third string of lights uh, But we'll play that by ear Now I'm not going to show you the whole manufacturing process Basically, I'm going to just repeat what I've done over and over and over again until we finish the thing off and um, I'm going to show you what that looks like when it's finished. So I'll catch up with you in a little bit Okay, I definitely got to admit that this project has taken a lot longer than I thought it would be. This now is the end of the second day I've been working on this. And basically, you saw the blue one that I'd created yesterday. 
and I've created a red one now and it's still not going to be big enough. This thing's probably going to be 30 inches in diameter and uh, so I was really thinking at the beginning there was going to be a blue one and a red one but this isn't even, uh, I've used all the blue and all the red lights and that still isn't all. So um, I had to go back to Home Depot. I went back there quickly this morning because I was concerned that they might sell out of lights. Remember I told you uh, earlier that uh, they were, they, you know, it was two weeks from Christmas and they'd already had all their stuff down. Well, fortunately they still had a few Christmas lights out and I was able to get a, a string of white lights and a string of green lights. So I'm gonna see if I can make it work with just the white lights and make it just a red, white, and blue ornament, or if I'm going to have to use the green one too and it's just going to be a four color thing. But it is coming along really nicely. It's going to look really cool at the end. And uh, I don't know. I think it's worth the time. Uh, I'm maybe not going to want to spend a bunch of time mass producing these things, but uh, it'll definitely be worth the trouble and it'll look really nice when it's done. So uh, we'll catch up you a little later and uh, let you know where we are. So it's the beginning of the third day and uh, actually we've got a nice little rainstorm going on right now. Thought we'd come out and enjoy that for a minute or two. It's funny, they've been predicting that the weather was going to turn really cold over the next uh, day or so. So I put Flash in her little box and then just set her right here. She came out and decided that that's where she'd rather be right now. So she's basically just chilling out in the rain too. Okay, this project is definitely taking longer than I expected. This is day four now, and I'm still not uh, uh, completely there. We've had a little bit of a setback. I've been kind of designing this thing as I went along, and uh, I kind of learned some things as I started making it. I know there's pages out there on the internet that'll show you how to make these things, but I wanted to figure it out on my own. And one of the first, one of the mistakes I made early on was I was only attaching the cups at the top and not at the bottom. I later on I started putting, uh, you know, hot glue gunning the bottoms together too. But I never was able to get this first half uh, to be round the way I want it to be. I want it to be a sphere, and that clearly isn't a sphere. That's taller than it's wide, and. Uh, it's just not going to work, and when I started building the second one, the second one was done right uh, with the bottoms being glued together also, and it is a good sphere. And it just occurred to me that when I attach these two halves together, they aren't going to fit because they aren't the same shape. So I pulled the light bulbs out of this one, the, light, uh, the blue light bulbs out of this one, and yeah, that, we're done with that one. And I've started making another one now, doing it right, from the bottom, gluing together, gluing together the bottoms of the cups. And uh, so that's where we are now. And I'm just gonna spend uh, more time now uh, continuing this and hopefully making it like this one. Then we can glue them together uh, and it should be good to go. All right, some more time has passed and I basically got the bottom half now reassembled and I got the lights put inside of it. Looks pretty cool right now. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any additional spaces that I need to, to fill in with holes, you know, fill in holes with an additional cup. But at this point, I think we're pretty much there all the way around. So next step, I think, is going to be to wire up the white lights that are going to be in the middle and then attach the thing together finally. Um, I'm not going to glue it in the back from the inside because there's no way to get inside of it. But since the top half and the bottom half are pretty secure and pretty pretty strong themselves. I'm just going to tie the outer edge with uh, zip ties and that will uh, complete the effect. So I'm going to re, uh, rewire up the uh, uh, white lights uh, between the red and the blue lights and I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit.
All right, it's the end of day four, and we finally got this thing close to being finished. Uh, I got the entire, this half of the dome completely rebuilt and relit. I completed the lighting on this half of the dome, and it is literally ready just to be assembled now. And so uh, I think this is just one final check to make sure everything's good inside here. But I think we are pretty much in, uh, ready to go here. I think it's going to look really cool. I'll let you know next scene. All right, so here's the finished product. I got to admit, I really like this thing. It was a lot of work. I'll admit, I, I do not want to uh, mass produce these things, but the effect of this thing is really cool. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It looks fantastic. Now, this thing's about 30 inches in diameter. So, like I said, it's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. And I didn't expect it would take four days to put this thing together, but uh, I do think it looks really fantastic. So I don't know. I I think it was worth the time. I'm I'm glad I tried it. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you have about four days to spend on it. But like I said, uh, it turned out really great. So I think that's the end of this vlog. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night. Yeah.